Hey, what's up guys? Min here from Dental Tech Tips, and today's tutorial is how to connect to your 3Shape license server remotely. So what I mean by that is if you have a 3Shape license at your lab, and let's say you want to be able to design remotely from home, or if you're traveling, instead of taking the actual license key with you, you can access it via port forwarding. So keep in mind this does require some degree of networking knowledge, so I'd recommend consulting with whoever you use for IT services before you go around changing things. Also, this doesn't give you access to your actual database, so if you have a client server type installation, we'll cover that in a completely separate tutorial. So let's dive right into it. I'm actually doing this from home in order to demonstrate how it can be done remotely, but this can be done locally as well. What you're going to need is a copy of TeamViewer and administrative access to your router, as well as an active installation of 3Shape Dental System on both computers, ideally both updated to the same version to avoid any errors. First things first, you're going to want to log into your lab computer. So write down the team viewer number and set up unattended access at a time. So let's log in here. Okay, so the goal is to set a fixed IP address on your local network. That way we can direct port calls to that specific computer. Go to the bottom right corner and right click on the network icon. Click open network internet settings. In that window, when it opens up, select Change Adapter Options. In that window, right-click on your primary network connection and select Properties. And in that dialog, you want to find Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP IPv4, and you want to click Properties, and select Use the following IP address. So changing gears slightly, you're going to want to go to your start menu search section and here you're going to want to open up the command prompt. Type CMD, you can hit enter or you can go here and click command prompt. And in this new window here, what you want to type in is IP config. This will bring up a bunch of network settings. What you want to look for is your primary network connection. And this will give you your subnet mask, your default gateway, and your IP address. Uh, what's important really is this third number group here. It's usually either the number 1, 2, or 0. And then in the last group, you want to select a number between 1 and 254. So what I mean right now is my current address is 192.168.253. Tomorrow it could be 275. Next day it could be 2200. Depends on what the router does and how it assigns addresses. What we want to do is we want to change this number here into a static number. So I like to put that number as close to the end of the IP range as possible, so as close to 254 as I can. On our network specifically, the addresses 252, 253, and 254 are dedicated to the security camera system and some other static network items, so I'll do 251 for this license server. So. Let's do that now. So what we want to do is 192.168.2 and 251. The subnet mask is the same, 255. And then your default gateway, 192.168 and that 2, it could be a 0, it could be a 1, it depends on your own settings. 192.168. 2 and 1 So in the next section, uh, under use the following DNS server address, you want to put, I, I like to use Google's DNS. Uh, there's others out there like Cloudflare or OpenDNS. I can throw those numbers down in the description if you want to try different ones. But for Google it's 8888 and the alternate server is 8844. And then what you want to do is you want to click validate settings and then you hit OK. And then once you hit close, sometimes you get this error on Windows 10 that'll pop up about DHCP not being enabled. You want to hit skip this step because if you hit apply fix, what it's going to do is it's going to undo all the settings that we just entered in. So we can go close. That's fine. We can close this and that. All right, so next, uh, what we want to do is we want to set up port forwarding. So open up your browser. I use Chrome. You can use Edge, Firefox, whatever you prefer. For my gateway, it's 192.168.21. And my specific router is 
an Asus router. Uh, if you have a, a D-Link router or a Linksys or whatever, just type in port forwarding. And let's say you have a D-Link DIR600. And that'll, that'll bring up that for you. Or if you have, let's say, a Link Sys uh, router port port forwarding. So it'll bring that up and I'll show you. But it, it's relatively the same. So here I'm gonna log in to my router. And I can show you here actually. Uh, if you go to the client list, it's gonna populate. So now you can see these are the dedicated 254, 253, 252. But scan PC is 192.168.2.251. So that is the static address for that on the network. For my specific router, we want to go to the WAN setting, wide area network. Virtual server port forwarding is where we want to click. Then we want to create a port forwarding rule. So for the service name, I'll name it 3Shape License Key. Port range. So the port that we want to forward is port number 27027. And the local IP is scan PC. They use common names, but it will populate 192.168.2.251. And again, the same port is 27027. And we want to forward both TCP and UDP protocols to this address. So we add this, hit apply. And port forwarding is set up now. Now the last step on your remote computer is to find the public IP address. We have a fiber optic line, so our IP address remains the same. If you have a DSL or cable service, it's probably a dynamic IP address. So you'll have to check your public IP address and update it periodically. Uh, you can sign up for dynamic DNS services, but I find it easy just to team viewer into your computer and change the IP. So in your web browser, you wanna type in what is my IP.com? I'll blank this out, but you're gonna to wanna to copy that IP address and then take that info. So we can close out of this. Close that. So on the remote computer, you go into your start menu, find your three shape folder, go to your dental system control panel, right click click more and then click run as administrator and it'll say dongle not found no worries press ok again press ok now the only thing that's available is subscription management ok and you're gonna want to go to the third tab uh, dongle service we're gonna paste that IP address here now you hit connect Everything's up and running. Press save. Now you can design crowns while sitting on a beach. Wait a minute, why did I do this again? For more great tutorials and all the best stuff in dental technology, stick with Dental Tech Tips. Thanks for watching.